Hey everyone, welcome back to Azure Data Factory session. In today's session, I am going to show you how to create a SQL Server and a SQL Database in Azure Portal. Okay, go to portal.azure.com and then check SQL Server. So click on Add. The first step is to create SQL Server. The second step is to create a SQL Database. Okay, so all right. Just choose a server name. SQL trial SQL server trial okay so if it's already in use we can choose a different one and then we have to choose uh, admin login okay so we have to choose a um, something called username okay I'll choose admin SQL trial and then choose a password Once the passwords match right, we'll be able to review and create it. Okay, so uh, as you're seeing here, right, you will be seeing estimated cost per month. For creating a SQL Server, they are not costing anything. So for creating a database only, you will be incurring some charges. I'll show you that in a um, few seconds. Okay, I'll just say create so that our uh, SQL Server is going to be created. So once you see this message, your deployment is complete, our SQL Server has been created and deployed to the particular region. Okay, so now we are going to create a SQL database. Okay, on the SQL Server that we have created now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click Add. This will ask you some basic details about database name and all. DB SQL Server. And then it will ask you to choose the server name okay the server that we recently created is SQL Server trial one okay so I am choosing that and then coming to uh, compute and storage this elastic pool is uh, it is to manage the um, different uh, SQL servers effectively so it by default it is clicked to no and the next option is compute and storage so it says 10 DTUs and 250 GB storage for the standard option standard is nothing but it is one of the tiers that Microsoft uh, Azure is giving us there are three tiers basically three tiers in the sense three hierarchies you can assume it to be one is basic hierarchy and second is standard third one is premium okay so each tier has its own um, uh, components and uh, its own configuration okay so 10 DTUs means what is a DTU DTU is nothing but a database transaction unit okay it is the very important component for uh, improving the performance of the SQL databases okay the more the number of DTUs higher the performance will be so it's like that okay so what is a DTU what is the uh, combination of DTU DTU is uh, composed of three different things one is a CPU another one is memory another one is IO input and output CPU is the processing power and the memory capacity and the input output capacity so combination of all these three things right they collectively called as database transaction unit okay so if you want to increase the performance you want to increase the processing power or memory or input output capacity so um, by then we'll be attributing to the to the performance improvement okay so when you say configure database right you will be uh, seeing look, looking at the options to increase the DTUs okay there are three um, tiers basically one is basic another is standard another is premium for uh, free trial subscriptions they are not giving access to this premium uh, tier okay so just we have access to basic and standard so when you see basic right uh, it just allows us to uh, use 2 GB um, uh, storage okay and uh, DTU there is no DTU at all okay so if you see here right by by default basic has 5 DTUs so they are calculating the cost based on number of DTUs for each DTU it's 65 rupees and 98 paise so for 5 DTUs they will be multiplying it with 5 and showing you the cost per month okay for basic if you check standard right they are giving us uh, by default it is 10 DTUs okay so 10 into 99.15 so 991 rupees per month so if you increase the DTU the cost also will be increasing if you see here okay so similarly um we can reduce or increase the storage size also okay let 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 us keep it default so that we are not uh, 
uh, having more uh, amount and all okay so defaulting we'll leave it as such and um, capacity we can reduce it to 25 gb we don't want much okay so if you see here right even if we have 250 gb it is 991 rupees and 50 pies only and even if it is 20 gb it is same so they are not incurring cost for storage space they are incurring cost only for the dtu so more the number of dtu more the cost will be and more the performance will be okay so let's have it as 10 only right now and say apply so that will um, complete the um, basic settings of the of creating sql server database okay so i'm saying review and create it will ask us to validate the details 991 rupees and 50 pies per month so just say create so it's going to take some time for deployment okay once that is done we will be able to use the sql database which is created in the azure portal we can uh, move data from and to the sql database that we have created okay so let's wait for uh, the database to be deployed so it has taken some time and it has completed the deployment so we'll be able to use the sql database for uh, querying and inputting on um, data too okay in the next session i will be showing you how to move data from on premise sql database to azure sql database okay thanks for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and support me thanks for watching and keep supporting